Smart Schools turning its young students into coding robot STEM fans. Good morning, Tennessee anchor Allison Smith takes us inside a kindergarten classroom to meet the robot that is teaching children. It's never too early to start coding. They've picked up on it really quickly, and I'm just very impressed with, with how well they've done. The car-shaped robot uses colored tiles to teach kids about programming. Trudy Cartagena uses the Spiro Indy in her kindergarten class at Glenwood Elementary School to help students develop pattern recognition and problem-solving skills. After we have learned how to take care of them, then we get to really dive into other things like directional learning, um, colors, patterns, um, and we do that all day long. The kids use the different colored tiles to give the car instructions, letting them create mazes. The block-based coding is teaching early learners to think better and set them up for academic success. So they learn from an early age not to be scared of technology. They see iPhones, they see Android phones, they see iPads at home. So when they come to us, they, they don't have that fear of the device. Heather Hinderlight is the Instructional Technology Coordinator at Oak Ridge Schools. She says the district integrates tech in the classroom at all grade levels, so every child has access to information and digital tools. We start small in Oak Ridge, see what works, see what our kids like, what our teachers are interested in using in the classroom, and then we scale it from there. So it's just been a good process for us. Rather than buying a lot of things and saying, use this, it kind of comes from the teachers and the student interest, and we build from there. Not only has playing with the Sphero Indy turned into a rich computer science experience, but it's also teaching young students how being wrong can help you learn. My favorite part of this whole experience in introducing technology um, to kindergartners is to see them explore um, and make mistakes and know it's okay and go back and try to fix it. If it doesn't work or we don't know what to do, we just say, let's try it. Covering education, Allison Smith, WATE, six on your side. Oh, you gotta love that. Hinderlight says the district only has one robot kit right now, so her goal this year is to purchase more so they can get them in more classrooms.